Hello everyone, I'm Connor Kennedy, and today I'll be presenting the Yusuko 2023 December Silver Problem, Bovine Acrobatics. In this problem, we have a bunch of cows, each with a certain weight, and we want to put it into m towers, so in this example m equals 3, such that the difference between the weight of a cow and the cow directly under it is at least k. So if we have k equals 4 in this example, then we can start making towers. Uh, for instance, we could put the cow 10 at the bottom, and then we might want to put cow 7 on top of cow 10, but since 7 is too heavy, uh, the difference between them is only 3, we actually have to put a 6 on top of this, since uh, that has a low enough weight. And then we can put down some other cows and towers, so for instance we could put 7 here, 7 here, uh, note that neither of these two sixes, or this six that's left over, uh, we've already put all of these on, the six that's left over cannot be put on any of these towers. So you have to move on. Similarly with, with this four, the four is too heavy for any of the towers. Uh, the three, however, we can put on top of one of the sevens. And then the two ones we can put on top of the other towers. So in this example, we have made three towers, one with cows one, six, and ten another with cows 3 and 7, and the last one with cows 1 and 7. So since we are able to put a total of 7 cows into the tower, our answer is 7. So the first thing we might think to try is a simple brute force solution, where we just try all the possible ways of putting cows into the towers. However, we will notice that our cows aren't given directly an input. Instead, we're given the number of cows of a certain weight for all the possible weights. And we're given that the number of cows is at most 10 to the 9, for at least any given weight, and there are 2 times 10 to the 5 possible weights for the cows. So this gives us a total of 2 times 10 to the 14 cows, and that's going to be way too many to try and brute force. So instead for this problem, we're going to use something called a greedy algorithm. A greedy algorithm is an algorithm that always chooses some sort of same decision whenever it has to make a decision. In our case, we can create our greedy algorithm with the cows, but if we have a tower, for example, of weight 10, with a cow of weight 10 at the top, and we have multiple choices for what cows to put on top, like say we can put cow of 2, 4, and 6 on top, uh, we're always going to want to choose the one with the highest weight. So for instance, we want to choose 6 here. Because if we ever don't choose something with the highest weight, like for instance we choose 2, that might block some of these from working, and that means we'll have a less optimal solution. Meanwhile, if we always choose the cow with the highest weight, that means we leave our options the most open they can be. So this leads us to the solution idea, where if we have our towers, and we have our cows, we just always want to put the largest cow, or the heaviest cow, possible into the towers. So for instance, if we had the cows 1, 2, 4, 7, 9, 12, uh, we want to put them in order of decrease in weight. So first we look for a tower to put the 12 cow in, then we put the 9 cow in, then 7, and then 4, and then 2, and then 1. So in this case we go in decreasing weight, and that way will always be making the greedy decision at every step. However, this runs into the same idea or the same issue as the brute force. We still have 2 times 10 to the 14 cows in the worst case that we have to place, and doing them one by one would still be way too slow. So we need to find a way to put multiple cows into multiple towers at the same time. The big thing to notice here is that due to the way our input is given to us, we have a lot of the cows with the same weight. So this gives us the idea that we might want to group these cows together by the weight and then put all a lot of them into the tower at the same time. So let's say we had like 3,000 cows of weight 5, and then we have like 2,000 towers or something. So we could put 2,000 of these cows into the towers, meaning that these 2,000 towers have a cow of weight 2,000 at the top, 
and then we'll have 1,000 cows that were not able to be placed in the towers. So if we're able to place these cows into the towers in bulk, then that means we'll be able to solve the problem a lot faster. Another thing we can observe is that we don't actually have to care about any of the cows in the tower except for the lightest one. So for instance, if you look at this first tower here, which has cows of weight 9, 12, and 16, for the purposes of trying to place another cow into the tower, the ones with heavier weights don't matter at all. So we don't have to care about the 12 and 16. We only have to count them when we initially place them into the tower, and then we can just notice that the tower has a cow of weight 9 at the top. This leads us to another idea. Since we only care about the, the cows at the very top of the towers, we can compress the towers into a more numeric representation by storing towers by the number they have on top. So for instance, we have three on top, and we might have like several hundred of them, like 879 towers with three on top. So if we store these towers by the number they have on top and the number of towers that have that number on top, then we'll be able to compress our information and be able to look through the towers more quickly. So for instance, we might also have like 400, five towers and maybe like 10,000, eight towers. And if we compress the towers in this way, then we can just quickly look through this table to see how many towers of a certain count we have. So let's see how we might want to place the towers in these, or the cows in these towers. So we mentioned earlier that we want to place the cows in the towers in bulk. So let's say we want to place like um, 800 cows of weight 2. So let's say we want to place 800 cows of weight 2 into these towers. So, and let's also say that k equals 3. So we'll notice that we can't put these cows into the towers of weight 3. So we can just kind of ignore the towers of weight 3, since those are unavailable. And we can look at the towers with weight 5 and 8. So now we can place these 800 cows into any tower we want. It doesn't really matter, because per our greedy solution, it's going to always be optimal. So we can try putting 400 of the cows into the towers of uh, with 5 weight on top. So we use up all 400 of those, and then we can put the remaining 400 into the ones with weight 8 on top. So we use up 400 of those, and then that'll leave us with 9600 with weight 8. And then once that's done, once that's done, we can put our weight 2 towers on, so now we have 800 of those. So we extend that in our table. And remember that we're iterating our weights from the cows from highest to lowest, so we'll always want to make sure that we put the heaviest cows in the bottom of the tower and then go up to the lightest cows. One last thing we can notice is that whenever, since we're decreasing in order of weight, whenever a tower is available to be placed on, it'll always be able to be placed on from here on out. Like for instance, if we had a tower of height 10 and we're looking at weight 5 and k equals 3 or something, since this is available, and we're only going down in weight, this will always be available or from here on out. So we can just keep track of all the towers that are available to be placed on separately. And then from there, uh, we can just take from this pool of available towers and put our, uh, put our new cows on top of it. So that brings us to our solution outline. First, we sort the cows from a uh, maximum weight to minimum weight. And then from there, uh, we start keeping track of our available towers. And this starts out as M because all M towers are going to be available at the start. And then we loop through all our cows. Uh, we update which towers are available, so we look through the list and choose the towers that have a, a heavier weight than our current weight plus k. Finally, once we've done that, we can 
put our current cows onto the available towers. And then after we've done that, we sum up the number of cows that we put on towers and then we output the answer. Let's work through an example. Okay, let's try running this solution on the second sample input. So first of all, we need to sort the cows in order of uh, weight. So in this case, we have four cows of weight nine, seven cows of weight six, and five cows of weight five. So, well, I've written them already in sorted order, but you would have to sort them yourself. Um, next, we keep track of our available cows, or available towers. And at first, this starts out as M, because all of our towers are available. And we also need to keep track of that table from earlier that stores the heights of the cows. Uh, for now, this table is empty because none of our towers have any cows in them yet. So let's loop through the cows. First, let's look at the cows of weight 9. Since uh, the table is empty, we don't have to worry about adding more available towers. And uh, we can put all of these cows onto the available towers. So in this case, we, this, we subtract this down to 1, since we're putting four cows on the other four towers. And then we note down that we put uh, four cows of weight 9 into the towers. Next we look at uh, our cows with weight 6. Note that we look at our table and since the weight of the top one, the weight of 9, is greater than the current weight plus k, which is 3, uh, these towers here all become available again. So we can remove them from the table and re-add them to our available count. And then from there, we can try to put as many of these cows as possible into our available towers. So since we can only fit 5, uh, we put this down to 0. We add uh, 5 towers of weight 6 to our table. And then, yeah. So finally, we can look at the cows of weight 5. Um, so none of these, since if we look in the table, the weight 6 towers, we cannot put the weight 5 cows on top of those. So none of those become available, and we have no available towers currently. So we actually can't put any of these into our tower, so we just move along. And since we've gone through all our cows, we can finally sum up our answer. Uh, we put four of these into the towers, we put five of these into the towers, so that gives us our final answer of nine. So yeah, we can put nine cows into the towers. Now let's go look at some code. So here's my C++ code for this problem. So I do first I do some input reading, and uh, I read the cows into this vector here, and that stores all the weight count pairs. Notice that I have created a type def that turns longs into ll. This is just to make it easier to write. We do need to use longs in this problem because uh, the number of cows is greater than the 32-bit integer limit. So make sure that you use longs in if you're using C++ or Java. So next we do this important step where we sort from maximum to minimum on weight. I use a custom comparator for this. Uh, make sure you know how to do custom comparators in your in your respective language. And then we move on to the main part of the problem. First we keep track of the available towers. We keep track of our answer. And we keep track of a queue of these weights. Um, and this queue stores which towers we're looking at that we've already put cows into and have given a weight but they're too heavy to put our current cows on top of. So we look through all of our cows, we get their current weight and the current count, and then we want to remove as many towers from the weight queue as possible. So while the queue isn't empty, and the current tower at the front of the queue has is 
heavy enough to put the current weight on top of. So that's saying that the weight minus k is greater than or equal to our current weight. Then we can add that to our available towers and then remove it from the queue. So we're just counting how many towers it's possible to put our current weight in. From there, we calculate the number of cows we can place. This is just the minimum of the number of available cows and the number of cows that we have. And if we have placed any cows then, uh, then we add them to the weight queue with their weight, current weight. And we subtract from our available towers because those are not going to be available for the next one. And then we add to our answer. And once we do all this, we placed as many cows into the towers as possible. Then we can just print out our answer. And yeah, that's the code for this problem. Uh, thanks for watching.